Been sleeping in this morning? Well, here's some stories you might have missed on the Late Morning Show. Jimmy Carter has achieved his goal of living long enough to cast his ballot in this year's election. The Carter Center confirmed the news Wednesday. His grandson previously said he would vote for Vice President Harris and doesn't believe former President Trump should be in the White House again. Carter turned 100 on October 1st, making him the oldest former president in U.S. history. Early voting began in his home state of Georgia this week. A new Los Angeles Housing Department report suggests it would cost the city roughly $22 billion to end homelessness in a decade. With about 45,000 homeless people in the city, that figure works out to about $490,000 per person, and it's triple what city leaders have budgeted. The figure is based on LA's current course of action and would require a major push for taxpayers and state and federal governments to buy into the projected cost. Some experts suggest it would be most cost-effective to shift focus away from building temporary housing to giving money directly to homeless individuals so they can get back on their feet. A man accused of abandoning a dog in the Tampa Bay area ahead of Hurricane Milton has been arrested. Giovanni Aladama Garcia is facing a felony charge of aggravated animal cruelty. The 23-year-old reportedly told investigators he was driving to Georgia to escape the hurricane but left his dog, Jumbo, tied to a fence on the side of I-75 because he couldn't find anyone to pick up the dog. Video recorded by a state trooper shows the officer freeing the dog as water rose around him. The dog, who has since been renamed Trooper in honor of the officer who found him, is now living with the Foster family until he's adopted. And a California doctor is suing a Thai restaurant claiming they served her a meal so spicy it burned her internally. Harjasleen Wyla ordered the spicy Dragon Balls appetizer a coupe de Thai in Los Gatos back in 2021. According to the suit, the meal is advertised as spicy, so she asked them if they could make it with less heat since she doesn't tolerate spicy foods well. When she ate the dish, Wallace said she felt her entire mouth, the roof of her mouth, her tongue, her throat, and her nose burn like fire, and that her eyes and nose watered and she began coughing. She's seeking medical expenses, lost income, and damages, with the case set to go before a jury next summer. I'm Raleigh D. That does it for me. Corey Carter's in next with more of today's hits and all of your favorites. Find me online anytime at Raleigh D. Official on Facebook, X, and Instagram. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Happy Friday, and I'll see you next time. Initiating a shutdown.